we're going today? Well, it's a surprise. It's a really cool spot because um, it's going to be, it's part of a natural heritage site, I guess you could call it. And um, it's something that's endangered in a sense. Oh, she already has her own And uh, we'll tell you all about it when we get there. Welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about a glacier called the Alesh Glacier. We are right now going into a museum to learn about it, um, to learn about the global warming that affects it and the climate changes that are happening all throughout the world. Um, just to give you a little bit of a positioning of where we are, we're close to a town called Brig. Um, the town that we're in right now is Naters in Switzerland. Um, and we are in the valley. It's called the valley. And behind us there is Italy so if you wanted to get to Italy you could take a, a pass called the Simplon Pass. This right here is a, a UNESCO uh, World Heritage Site. There's only about I think 11 of them here in Switzerland which is actually quite a bit and um, we're gonna go learn about this museum and what's happening to the glacier so come along and enjoy the tour. Here we go inside we go. Oh they have the typical Swiss music playing. There's a small view of what all the mountains are. Thirty five hundred meters. It's over three kilometers high. And it's over twenty kilometers long, the glacier. This would be like and then this is the cup. So if the glacier disappears, then the lakes disappear? Yeah. I think it's explaining also that there's debris, right? So yeah. that, what is it saying here? Whenever glaciers recede, they leave sand and debris behind. So it turns into like sand. Yeah. I'm making more lakes. More lakes. Oh, look at that big lake you're making. That's cool. All the water flows down into the valley. Around 7 billion people currently live on the planet. Every person gets one liter of water from the glacier every day for 4.5 years. If it melted? If it melted. Okay, select the landscape. So you just pick anything? Okay, I'm gonna pick Grindelwald. Me too, I picked Grindelwald. Did you? We all did except for Shaggy. Answer the following question. Okay, let's see. I mean that this is what type of agriculture do you like best? Oh. How do you plan to reduce CO2 oxygen? Oh no, CO2 emissions. Okay, how do we plan? What does to that do mean? It? CO2 is like your emissions. It's what comes out of the car, what comes out of our Watch breath. Out, ah, solar energy. 
Hey, so now we're building solar wind energy. Solar plant wind. Wind turbines, okay. It takes up to six generations to make the return trip. They go between their summers in Scandinavia and their winter quarters in Western Africa. With the help of favorable air currents, these butterflies are able to drift across the rock. They have to scan your ticket first. It actually moves? Yeah. Look at I'm gonna stay on the train. This is Jungfrau Jock, the highest railway station in Europe, 3,454 meters above sea level. So this is what it looks like in the winter, and then this is what it looks like in the summer. Mm -hmm. And right now we're uh -huh. here. Okay. And we're gonna take the tele cabin up to here. Yeah. And then we're gonna walk all the way to here, uh -huh. which is like about a half an hour, an hour to walk. And then we're gonna take the tele cabin down and then take the train. Take the train back. And that's the glacier right there. Very cool. Look at how many mountain peaks are. It leaves in two minutes. We've got it so fast. what it's like when you come out after being in the telecam in and then you're in this little Swiss ski village up in the mountains and then this is their taxis they have little trams in case people come up with luggage and stuff and then what's cool in Switzerland is you have all these hiking trails and they always say on them like the distance and how long it'll take you to walk so for example we were looking to walk to I think that's called. Which one were we looking to go Read to? Read I think. Read yeah. 40, 40 minutes. minutes. 55 minutes, because we're taking the small one, not the big one. Oh, uh, okay. There's like a west and a mitte, whatever that is. Middle. Middle, Middle and one. west. Mitte. So they tell you the distance. You can go all the way down. If you were to walk all the way down, that where we just were, it would be a two hour hike down. So, it's really neat. And then you just follow. Look at all the different places you can go to. Yeah, not today. amazing. 
And then what always surprises me is that we're up in the middle of nowhere on a mountain and there's a whole village here. It's just unbelievable. Right now we're right here, right? Or is that where we're no, walking? No, we're right we're here. Walking. Yeah, that's where we are. And we're gonna walk all the way around here. So right behind us is where the glacier is. Are we buying ice cream at school, yes. please? You want ice cream to give you some energy to walk in the heat? Yes. Please. We thought it'd be a little cooler up here, but nope, it's still <laughs> hot. Uh -huh. It's cool inside, that's for sure. Welcome to our tour of our mountain hike. Thank God this pass is going to be all on one level apparently. Oops, watch, there's a little express guy coming. This is what we'll take if we get tired. Look at their little bus. How many meters high are we, you guys? Does anyone know? 2,000. We 2,000 meters? Mm -hmm. We're about 2,000 meters and there's a little village up here. And what I was saying is, thank God it's uh, flat because the shoes I brought aren't mountain shoes. So the girls are all wearing running shoes. And I'm wearing. I'm wearing hiking shoes. shoes. You guys all have hiking shoes. You guys are smart. Mine are gym shoes. Well, that's smart. Little typical Swiss chalet. The little red shutters. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Does ice cream taste better at 2,000 meters, Angelique? <laughs> no. <laughs> it tastes the same. Tastes the same. Oh. Maybe I should taste test it to make sure. This can probably last us 20 minutes, and we'll have to buy another one for the rest. Like, we'll buy ice cream every 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes. It's cool, there's a little kiosk up here with some food. Does anyone know what mountain that is behind us? Like, in front of us up there? I have no idea either. Tyler, do you know what mountain that is? That's the Matterhorn? Is it? Are you sure? Yeah, to the left of the tree. Oh, oh the Toblerone in the distance. Right over there is the Matterhorn. So there's obviously cars that come all the way up here because there's roads, right? And then there's the homes. So they would have had to build all the homes and get all the materials up. There are some like areas where my cousin has a chalet. He can't drive up. They have to take a telecabin up. Whole year plus an extra month because we can't do the summer, the winter months. Oh. So and look, this is a little lift to go up. This must be, this isn't a chairlift, but whatever you call those little ones, right? Yeah. We just found a ping pong table in case you want to play ping pong. And I also wanted to tell you guys, as you can see, there's like these wood pieces. That's to stop the avalanches or like rocks from falling. Up there? That's, yeah. That holds all the snow those wooden structures. Basketball and soccer. Oh, that's fun. It must be like a sports center. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can do, like, you can rock climb. Oh, yeah, climb. that's a rock climbing wall right there. And there's below. swings and parks. That's cool. Oh, these hikers, all these walkers with kids, they want to take a break. They'll take breaks. You can. You girls can go. You know what's really funny is once we were at a park mm -hmm. bigger than this one in Lausanne and this guy came with a clipboard and he started like inspecting all the different things like underneath the swing. Oh, yeah. and so then we were like, oh, that's interesting. So we asked him like what he was doing and he showed us his clipboard and there was three columns on it. And he was like, well, I inspect the parks every week. And we're like, every week? He's like, yeah. And then he said, if there's like a, a loose screw then he puts it on like the replace right away list and then the second column was like it could be done maybe in a next maybe one to three four weeks and then the other one was like it'll be needing attention in the next three to six months let's say and so they literally inspect all the parks here which is absolutely nuts because mm -hmm. i never knew that ever existed never heard of that before everything's controlled finally at the end and we go off right I don't know the name of it, but yeah, we do laugh, laugh or something think. like that. So yeah, we're going to take the funicular down. And it's a very hot day here. So. It's actually a telecabin or a cable car, I guess. Yeah. This is the building that it's in there. And we're just praying that the last one doesn't have like a set limit because it's right now already 5.20. I'm sure it goes to at least hopefully 7 at night, but we are soon to find out. Because if not, that's going to be a, look at down below, that be at least a two hour hike to get down there. Yeah, so it's one hour walk. That would be very cool. 
So we're totally good. We're going to make it down, no problem. We have another 20 minutes before the next telecabin goes down. And then you buy a ticket, and then it has a machine where you put in your ticket. The junior passes for the kids work here as well, so the passes that you pay 20 francs for the year, and then they can access any train, uh, telecabin, boat, uh, bus for free for the year, so it's pretty cool. So you just put your ticket in there, and then you get into the telecabin, which is right there, and off you go, down the mountain. You are actually kidding. There's my little twins that aren't twins but look like twins. They used to get asked if they were twins all the time. But now they've uh, they're a little bit different in size, so they look you know somewhat like twins. Yeah, not far away at all. So we could have drove up here I guess. You could drive up here? Yeah, like well yeah there's cars up here, right? No. I mean there's very see cars. I guess I just assumed you can drive up because there's these little roads. And how did they build everything up here? There's, I don't know. Maybe you can't drive up here. Really wiggly when I'm using this. Because remember in Geneva it was like really wiggly. Girls, I think we have to go this way to Moussefluff or whatever. Oh, you go around and down. Oh, you go around and down. Oh, gotcha. Okay, no, we go this way. That's what we're going up to right now. That's what the top's gonna look like, that big glacier up there. We're going up to Mooshflu. Anyone want to try to say it in German? Mooshflu. Imagine running all the way up the hill and having this, like a little sled. Well, not when it's snowing, but just right now. I'm going down it. That'd be fun. We're going to get into Chelvinban. Glitzerbahn. So we're at 1885 meters. We're going up to 2,335 meters high. It was a bit cool when we got up here, but it's going to be really cool when we get up there, I think. There's ski lifts there where you take the ski lifts. Yeah, I've got your passes. And just so everybody knows, the Calcignol that we have for the kids passes for this. The kids are actually all free. I'm going to explain the size of this glacier. Here's a little picture of it. And um, okay, so what it is, is the surface. The surface is like the whole entire space of it, right? It takes up 81 kilometers square kilometers. So it's just massive. It's 22 kilometers long. And the depth of it, so how deep it goes, is 900 meters deep. How deep is that? Well, that's almost a kilometer deep. Like I'll oh, drive yeah. on the way home. I'm gonna drive one kilometer, and but I'll. How long is that? Like, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna show you. Like we're gonna start, and then I'm gonna drive one kilometer. I'm gonna say, okay, that's 900 meters, and that's how deep it is. You don't get it? I'll show you on the way home. Okay, so it's 900 meters deep, which is okay in feet for all those who are American. In feet, it's. 2,952 feet deep. That's the depth of it. And it weighs, get this girls, 27 billion tons. tons. Yeah. 27 billion tons. That's how much the ice weighs. So it's just massive.
but what's happening whoa sorry what's happening now is that these glaciers are starting to melt and so they're starting to have like landslides and like really bad um issues which is really crazy imagine walking up this hill no no look at look, look at how look how steep it is oh my gosh and look at that look at that what's that those are like animals what are those um, sheep mountain sheep what's crazy is okay so see in switzerland all these like little stops if you're skiing you can stop at all these spots for like restaurant breaks and little you know hot chocolates fondue look at these people just chilling they're chillaxing in the sun taking in the sun rays there's not so many people no but those people on those nice kind of chairs look at the baby um goats Look, now we're starting to be able to see more and more mountaintops in the distance. What's crazy is when you're down below, you don't even realize like there's a whole bunch of mountains behind you. You just think, oh, there's just the one. And then you go up high, 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 and you realize there's like just hundreds of kilometers of mountains everywhere you look. It's unbelievable. Is this a stop? See that road right over there? Yeah. If you take that road, that road goes through the mountain. It's called the Simplon Pass. Did we do that before? If you go through there, you end up in Italy on the other side. Fine. We were about to come here. My clouds were in our camp. Uh -huh. We never did because it was rainy now. Oh. Instead, we went to um, Ingerbad, which was actually quite fun. It was funner. More Instead fun. of walking four hours plus a couple of cabins, plus more hours walking. This is what a lot of people are talking about nowadays with global warming and stuff. And here in Switzerland they sure do feel it because they can physically see the glaciers melting, which is crazy. Can you come up there? Yeah, just be careful. Like you don't want to fall down into one of these things. I don't even know how deep that goes down. We've been running our business now for over 17 years, is it? Yeah, because we've been married 17 years and we started the year we were married. But nonetheless, I still get super excited when a new contract comes in or something new happens just because I guess it's the livelihood of what we do and it's our business. And we are up on the Swiss Alps on a telecabine and I just got an email, it's Sunday afternoon and I just got a brand new client sign up with us and it's super excited so i'm like super stoked and um celebrating here in my telecabin with my kids but it is it's amazing that's the power of running what an did internet you get? Ooh, i got a new contract signed so we love you guys over and out see you soon bye, bye. thanks for watching that tour of the alex glacier make sure you subscribe and give us a big thumbs up bye